Hello, Jesse Good here. Merry Christmas Eve, and today we're doing Lego Juniors Batman vs. Mr. Freeze set, which has 63 pieces, two minifigures, and retails for $15 in the United States. And let's take a look at those minifigures. And here is Batman, and it's so weird seeing this Batman now. This was a 2012 to 2014 Batman, the classic Lego movie Batman, if you think about it. And it's been a while since I've seen this, because we use the new 52 Batman and the, now the new Lego Batman movie Batman, which has the utility belt and everything as a separate piece. But this one, you can see it has it printed. It actually has an older style cape. So this is actually kind of cool, because kids who want their hands on this older style one can finally get this one again, because he doesn't come in any more sets, I think, of recent years. I mean, the last set I can remember is that Lego Batman movie Super Secret Police Dropship set from 2014. So that is it for this classic style of Batman, which is kind of a nice throwback. And here's Mr. Freeze, and this looks a lot like the 2013 one, but it isn't. It's actually based off of the Batman animated series from what I heard. Um, so you can see he has a new face print, a new torso print. That's gonna draw a lot of collectors to the set. And since it's only $15, I mean, that's a pretty good deal. What's also interesting is that he has no back expression. It's just kind of these little liver spots, which is interesting as well. Got some nice kind of torso printing on the back. Love the purple gloves. That's like a light purple. Looks great. And his kind of blaster right here it is very juniorized. I mean, this is a very easy to build thing, but that's okay. You know, it is a junior set. So here are the builds of the set. Let's take a look at the bat boat first. So here is the bat boat, and it uses the newer 2017 Juniors hull for the boat, which I really like that because a lot of the hulls that LEGO uses are these big type of hulls, like usually they're like this big for boats. This one is just kind of a smaller type boat, and actually that hull allows it to float, so that's a cool play feature for the kiddies. And there are some kind of minor details here, you know, not too many details because it is a Junior set, so it has to be easy to build. For example, there's this printed kind of front 2x4 tile with the Batman logo on there. They also give you some discs right here, which I believe these two prints have appeared in uh, some other junior sets before. And you do get two discs, and one of them you can kind of shoot at a time out of this little kind of disc launcher, which you just kind of push on it there, and they shoot out. That was used in, I think, 2015 Chima sets first, and then you also got this little cockpit area, which, oh my gosh, there's a reflection, but I'm not shirtless, so ha, take that. And this little cockpit kind of opens, and you can see there is a printed kind of a control part right there, which is on one of those roof tiles. And there's a little bit of space for Batman to sit in. What I don't like is that Batman's cape basically gets destroyed because it's an older style cape, and there's no real like resting room for it, so it just kind of gets bent when you sit him down like that. The sides are open, which is really unrealistic and kind of bad looking if you're looking for it from an adult eye, but again, this is a junior set, so... It's not supposed to have too many complex builds, so I understand why they have that. Um, and then they have a little holder for a battering on the side and a holder for a little walkie-talkie on the side. On the back, you can see that there is these two little flames just kind of represent, you know, the I guess the engines working and this kind of breezing through the water. And other than that, if you're wondering if this hull, like I was kind of wondering if you could kind of remove this top part from the hull right here with the studs and everything, because usually some uh, Lego boat holes you can. It's really hard and I think impossible to actually remove. It's like glued on there, kind of uh, shut. So, you know, I guess that's to make it so that it would float. But that's really it for this whole bat boat. Nice kind of cheap way to get the whole piece and some other nice prints. So now let's take a look at the other parts of the set. So the other vehicle of the set is Mr. Freeze's little boat. I like the translucent flame they use here because that piece comes in some kind of more, I guess, Disney type sets uh, with mini dolls. So it's nice to get it in a minifigure based set for those who don't buy mini doll sets. And you can see they have some nice sparkles in there. Other than that, this build is very, very simple. And that's okay. It's just a little side build of the set. And they actually show that you're supposed to have him standing up and uh, his gun just kind of protrudes out. And that's really it for the boat build. So here is the last build of the set. And I like getting these small, ugly rock pieces, as people call them, um, in these types of cheaper sets. Because I actually really like these small, ugly rock pieces. I don't think they're ugly. And you get a nice kind of translucent light blue. And there's a little kind of crystal to get right there. So that's pretty interesting. But again, just a very simple side build. Here is the front of the box. It's a $15 box size. And the back and the instructions, which has something really interesting in it. Well, you guys know I always like the little artworks they kind of draw, but this is really weird. All right, typical ad, and then on the back, look at this. What is wrong with this picture? 
you see for the money micro set that's a freaking preliminary picture of it that is not the final set definitely you can see it with uh the killer moth kind of figure and build right there that looks pretty bad so overall this does what i want to see from junior sets you have a great build and some great playability with you know the floating boat and the little disc launcher um, for the kids that this is aimed towards because no, you know, most Lego sets are aimed towards kids So that's who they're made for but you also got parts that adults will like and literally you got parts that adults will like in the sense of rare pieces of these nice prints right here the new boat hole uh, the nice flame back there this little piece right here and the best part of the set the new Mr. Freeze minifigure which is something that kids won't really tell the difference of but adult collectors will be like I want that set just because of that and I think all for $15 there's a lot of stuff going on here which is kind of, you know kind of a good deal in my opinion so I'll have to rate this set a B plus. I mean, the build is not too unique even for kids, but I do like that you get this kind of floating boat because those are always, I used to play with a lot of like boats in like the bathtub when I was a kid and stuff like that. And you do get these nice mini figures in the sense of Mr. Freeze and some nice pieces. And there's really not too much wrong with the set, even if you're buying it as an adult. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.